Okay, this is uh, <clears throat> day two of trying to get this battery back in serviceable order. The uh, almost two-year-old battery with the uh, low cell. As you can see, the cell next to it is uh, damn near jumping out of the tube. It's so high up in the green, and uh, I let this uh, try to charge yesterday, but yesterday was pretty much just a bunch of rain. Now I did, as of right now. Well, actually, last night I checked it, and it was up in the white, and it's the lower end of the red, so I'm going to let it go again today. <clears throat> again, it's another cloudy, half ass rainy day. Let's see what happens. One thing that is interesting, right now i got 33 volts at 10.7 amps, and I'm putting in 15.3 at 21 which this battery hadn't seen 15 volts in a while because it just wouldn't take the pass through for voltage. <clears throat> and here in my little uh, honey bear, let me see that a little bit. It's not going to let me. I guess that's as soon as it's going to zoom. I've got a little uh, thermometer here in my bottle. I'll take a reading on the uh, electrolyte. Alright, right now it's uh, it's about 88 degrees. The cell next to it is, I don't know if you can see that, it's 80, about 82 degrees. And then the one next to it on either side, so this one here is, this one's pretty warm too, about 88 degrees. And it's uh, bubbling quite nicely. And actually, this cell here is starting to bubble, so it's, it's getting some juice to it finally. And I stick that in there to uh, cool it down. And I went right down to 80 degrees, which is about room temperature. So, I don't know if we can see the bubbles bubbling. But they are bubbling quite nicely. And then again, we've got the uh, charge controller, which of course now a cloud came in again, so it's down to 14.2. This is what happens. I just can't. We've got a, a cloudy patch coming through rain for the next week or so, so it's pretty impossible to do this. Alright, that's it for now. Okay, this is a uh, battery update. The cell next to the cell that was like on the very top of the red and the rest are damn near the green is jumping out of the tube. It's about six o'clock. Now we can see we've got this one almost in the green. That was the one that was completely toast. Oh, dead, 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 as you can see. It's almost in the green. Now I'm going to leave that right there for a second. I'm going to show you something pretty strange. This is the uh, El... Oh, damn it. Pass it everywhere. This is the uh, El Cheapo tester. Now watch what happens with this one. Look at that one. That one wants to jump right out of the, uh, the container. So I think this one is a bit generous. Yeah, I got that at Walmart or Tractor Supply. I forget where I bought that. Another one jumping right out. Apologize for the camera moving all around, but stuff to do with one here. Let's see what happens. This one here, as you can see, it's almost in the green. I'm just going to show you how far ranging these can be. Now you just saw the, uh, the DECA or US Pen battery tester. Oh, let's see what this one says. Now look at this one. Another one jumping right over the top of good, you know. 
So which one do you believe? Personally, I go go with looking at the battery and see how it's performing. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Well, I've been charging this since uh, Friday. Friday was pretty much a joke, though. It's been raining. Saturday went much better. I also been uh, watching the bubbles come up, which right now it's not doing nothing, so they're not bubbling. Yesterday this one started to boil. Today it was boiling nicely, and that one's going, as you can see, pretty good. And I've been using a temperature gauge. Yesterday when I did this, I had to keep a good watch on it because it went up to about 142 degrees. Got pretty damn warm. I had to back it off. Now today she's. I think it goes about 132. Now, when it went over 140 and I had no bubbles, that's pretty much telling you that dead cell is kind of acting like a resistor. Say it's about 130. And that one there is uh, about 126, a few degrees cooler. So, it's important to use a, a battery tester, and it's important to use a thermometer. And I got two different hydrometers. This is a US Penn DECA and this is a uh, tractor supplier or a Walmart battery tester. There it is right there. You can see this one is very generous with its readings. This one is uh, not so much but I think it's more honest. Um, other than this cell being almost in the green all the rest of the cells are at the top so I think I brought this battery back. So anyway that's the update on the battery. And there's the old Flex Max right now. It's 13.1. I've had it at 14.7 all day on the EQ cycle. And uh, as you can see, I only have one battery hooked up. These are undone. So, I think it was a success. I believe I brought my battery back. So, we'll keep an eye on it in the next few months, see what happens. And next time I buy batteries, I will definitely go the, uh, the heavy-duty 6-volt deep cycle jobs to get a lot more storage. Okay, so that's it. There's your little, uh, I told you I would report on how I did it. And again, you need a, a temperature gauge. I mean, you can get these anyway, any auto parts store. Walmart's got them. It's kind of like a meat thermometer type deal. I use them for setting AC in a car. And then two different types of hydrometer is that one and the turkey base to type. Okay, so that's it. I'm signing off. I've been at this now for uh, four days babysitting it, and I think I did bring it back. So that's it. Bad battery is now a good battery. That's it. Bye.